Matt Sapala. Yes. Check out his green outfit too. This is kind of perfect. <laughs> MSM, you got some big goals that accomplished in 2019. Would you agree? Yes! yes. 10 centimeters. He's crowning. <laughs> Kobe. Jordan. Jordan Rain. Jordan. Blast. You know, I wouldn't bet against you. You never bet against a Marine and his goal. Years, we're doing 20 miles a day. Who's fired? Playing through cramps? Where about you, so bro? Man, I can play. Definitely only 20 miles. <laughs> Well, that did not require a college degree to become a millionaire. In many of these cases, 500 bucks is not going to get very much anyway. You might pay a fraction of a Bitcoin. Yeah. So Dustin was introduced to me by Richard Love. Are you willing to go through some pain? Yes. Are you willing to have pain in direct proportion to the level of success that you want? You got to understand, you pay little pain, you get little success. When did you pick up cigars? Almost 12 years ago. And guess who got me into it? My fucking nutritionist. <laughs> My uh, warrant officer, Navarrete, he said, you guys come back from a patrol, you guys come back from a mission, come back from a training mission, there are no mishaps, nothing went down, cigar. That's cool though, man. I think we all have a story about how we did it. You know, when, when I'm serving in the Marine Corps, uh, I, I'll tell you this, I. I Figured I'd go into the Marine Corps because it was just a way for me to get to Chicago to get a job, to have a different experience. And sadly, like most Marines do, we find a wrong relationship and we get married to the wrong person. And uh, that's what I stumbled into. So not only was it bad enough for me to go to two different combat deployments in my eight years on active duty and two in the reserves, but it was another battle for me to fight when I got back home. And here's the crazy part. In other battles, it's easy for me to deploy and face that battle. But when I got back home, I found myself completely exposed to a financial battle, completely exposed to an, uh, a relationship battle, uh, exposed to a transition battle. And here's the thing, I had no back, I had no backup. Nobody's got my six on this one. My wife is half white, half black, Cuban and, Cuban and American Indian. Hold down to outdated uh, dinosaur financial strategy and technology, whereas people that are on the cutting edge, they seek new information, they improve their situation, in this case scenario, save their financial life. So my encouragement to you is you're thinking about 2020. By the way, does 2020 start in January or does 2020 start now? Yeah. Yesterday. Yesterday. I, I, th I think it starts now yesterday. If you're, staying, you're starting to think about 2020 in January 1st, you're already behind the power. What's cracking everybody? Money smart guy, Matt Paul here, hailing to you from the Hilton. Custody of my son and I didn't make moves, so uh, I fell into entrepreneurship and I fell into the insurance industry. Welcome to the Seven Figures Company. Thank Thanks for having me. Awesome. Obviously, we got to ask a question. What was it like to work with Donald Trump for 19 years?
what a year 2019 has been. Absolutely blew my mind the things that our team was able to accomplish, that uh, we were able to capture on video, the episodes we were able to create, uh, focusing on helping people make six figures, seven figures, and rebranding our YouTube channel, The Seven Figure Squad, and helping create content that actually has system strategies and mindset towards helping people get to their next financial level, especially in the world of entrepreneurship, uh, in their transition from the military, in their transition from sports, professional sports, amateur sports, whatever the case may be, uh, couples working together, etc. Um, things that we really exper experienced in 2019 is just really a culmination of things that we've planned for the last four or five years, specifically sitting down with our mentor, Patrick and David, every year business planning, being focused on it, being intentional about it, areas of our lives, you know, uh, from, from areas of spirituality, family, fitness, fun, uh, things that we're gonna make an impact, the, the, the things that we have in terms of our deadlines, they have to be specific, they have to have a cost that you're willing to pay and have a deadline that we're willing to accomplish it. And those things really played itself and starting to exponentially grow in the years as we continue to compound our efforts over, over time. Uh, going into 2020, listen, you know, we're excited in 2019, we became a company that did $11 million in business. Uh, in 2020, we're looking to double that. In 2020, we're looking to create more half million dollar income earners, people running multi million dollar businesses themselves, creating multi million dollar earners themselves. Uh, there's a lot of our guys that are making $50,000 a year part time, a lot of our guys making $100,000, $250,000, $500,000 a year transition from one career or business to the next. Uh, we're just excited to be able to do that. Uh, and, and guys, it's not rocket science. And, and one of the things that I want to encourage you to as well is this. Especially in the world of entrepreneurship, especially in the world of business, you can't say from a linear standpoint that, you know, I'm gonna put a year in or four years in, eight years in, expect to get something out of it. That's not the way you look at it. Maybe that's the way your job made you look at it in terms of seniority, but there is no seniority in entrepreneurship. There is no, you know, there is no, there is no rank structure in capitalism. It's really down to one thing. How many actions are you willing to take in 2020? How many actions repetitively over a consistent period of time without any starts? Uh, start stops without anything you know, I'm gonna do it for 30 days and quit for 30 days restarting in 30 days quit in 30 days no, you can't have that because then you're gonna get results your efforts will never compound in 2020 is just gonna be a year uh, of the same of the same old same old if you allow that to exist my encouragement to you is this how many actions are you willing to do in 2020 extended over a period of time going opposite whatever your friends have found different ha having different habits of what many of your association around you may be telling you, encouraging you to have. But listen, if you want to be different, at least financially, you got to be willing to do what most people are not willing to do. And that's having consistent efforts over a period of time, especially when people want to take off graduations or vacations or whatever it gets to be in evenings and weekends. You got to retool and rethink and redefine what ha uh, having holidays, what having birthdays, what having uh, graduations. I'm not telling you not to go to graduation. I'm telling you not to go to birthdays. I'm not telling you not to go to uh, family gatherings, but you just have to figure out how much time you can invest in those type of things. Because it's, if, if you're launching your business, you're launching your endeavors, that takes some effort, that takes some requirement, especially the journey of financial freedom and financial security. If it was easy, everybody would be financially secure. Everybody would be financially free, but they're not. That's why you, America is right now at an epidemic level where people are living too much paycheck to paycheck. People are, are unable to afford the simple things in life. And you can blame the politicians or you can blame somebody else, but here is what our feeling is about that. Given what we have with what we know, 2020 is gonna be the year of responsibility responsibility, not waiting around for anybody to tell you to do something, not waiting around for anybody to, to, to force you one, two, three. Listen, if you want to take the world of entrepreneurship and understanding that I have control in my hands, I'm willing to take control in my hands, not wait for anybody to do anything for me, I'm going to take initiative, I'm going to be proactive, I'm going to ask myself better quality questions. If I don't have the answer, I want to ask a question to, to grow, not to be skeptical or cynical, but to grow and to find out the things that I don't know. Watch out 2020, how it unravels for you. I'm excited. Post your thoughts, post your comments below. I want to know what you're declaring in terms of your intentions of the year ahead. We're expecting to double our business. We're expecting to create more half a million dollar income earners, million dollar income earners through mentorship and entrepreneurship in our field. Uh, we're looking to make a better impact in social media and influence and, 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 as well as the mainstream media. We want to make an impact in a big way. This year, I'm going to be writing a book. These things are, are going to happen because they're already in my business plan. It's going to happen. And I'm encouraging you to put those things, put those declarations right now, right in front of you. Put it and see it every day where you, you brush your teeth, you take a shower, it's in your car, it's in, it's in your, uh, uh, um, it's, it's in, uh, what do you call it, I think the mirror, the, the mirror that you flip down. You gotta have it everywhere so different you see it, so different you see it, your conscious and subconscious mind programs yourself to have those same habits and actions to make it a reality. So with that being said, guys, it's been a phenomenal 2019. I appreciate you guys being part of our community, part of you 
That's either online or offline. Appreciate you interacting with us. We're looking for more of that in the year ahead, in the year of responsibility. With that being said, Happy New Year to you guys. It's been a phenomenal 2019. Expecting more, the best version of you and I in 2020. With that being said, until meet again. Until live smart, until love smart. Be money smart today. Happy New Year. With that being said, thanks for tuning in. Here for the Beach of Cancun. Continue to live smart. Continue to love smart. Be money smart today. today.